The Chevrolet Corvette Z06 is a four-wheeled hyperbole generator. It sticks harder than Dave Grohl on Crunk, it's got more horses than an Ikea lunch buffet, it moves quicker than Justin Bieber's neighbors. The thing is, if you focus solely on performance, you actually overlook what makes the Z06 so darn exceptional. It's strange, but supercar performance isn't all that rare these days, if you have the cash. Like the Nissan GTR when it first hit our shores, the Z06 brings elite performance to the masses, at least the part of the masses that can afford $79,995. That comparatively modest sum, you get a C7 Corvette, an already stout performer, enhanced throughout for superior road holding, improved braking, enhanced downforce, and nutso acceleration. The supercharged 6.2-liter V8 powering the Z06 is not only a 650-horsepower dynamo, it's also the most powerful production motor GM has ever produced. To help remind you of that fact, there's a little badge down here that says 650 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque, which will really come in handy when your buddy wants you to take him for a spin around the block, and he's like, hey, is this thing quick? You can just look down there and say, you tell me. No surprise, the Z06 is stupendously fast, floored for either wheel spin or tremendous acceleration. You can turn it to really work those neck muscles, and if you brake really hard, you'll experience whatever this is. Yeah, all told, the Z06 is as dynamic as you would hope. Making that possible, the standard magnetic ride control, which can be adjusted with this rotary knob right down here. Turning it quickly adjusts suspension firmness, throttle, sensitivity, steering efforts, and stability control settings to best match where and how you're driving. The presence of eco mode might seem a little out of step with the pure performance intentions of the Z06, but actually it has the lightest steering and the smoothest suspension making it an ideal choice for mellow cruising. Which kind of sounds like a Michael McDonald song. Unlike all previous Z06s, this one also comes as a convertible for a very reasonable $4,000. It's a testament to the Corvette's super-rigid architecture that heavy structural reinforcing wasn't required in the only 58-pound heavier convertible. The Z06 is also offered with an impressive 8-speed automatic transmission, though choosing it adds $1,700 to the price, along with an additional $1,300 gas guzzler tax. Advantage? 7-speed manual. The Corvette Z06 is amazing, but it's also kind of frustrating. Every single drive requires either enormous restraint or the willingness to risk your driving privileges. Perhaps more than any car I've driven in recent history, the Z06 demands to be driven at a racetrack. So let's, uh, let's do that. Before blasting out of the bits here, I should probably point out that I am not a professional race car driver. Rather, I am an amateur racer slash frequent track day participant, which is actually not that different from most Corvette people, except I'm only in my 30s. All right, so we know that she'll spin the tires. <laughs> that was easy. And we know that she leaves the corners with lots of speed. That's not really an inside, is it? 650 horsepower, that was fully expected. <laughs> so uh, what happened there is that uh, stability control intervened, then stopped, then intervened, then stopped. So you created kind of a tank slapper effect rather than kind of smoothly reining it in. Let's make some adjustments. Let's put this over in track mode, see how it does now. Really good opportunity to point out that the rev match feature, which is activated via these little paddle shifters right here, is truly excellent. You can uh, do cool stuff like I'm cruising along in third right now, downshift into second, pretty seamless. That's great. That takes the heel-toe downshifts component out of the track day uh, challenges. You get to focus just on braking and acceleration and your, your, uh, your line.
In track mode, the steering is much, much heavier. And actually, I'm not sure if that's desirable. Braking, braking, braking. There's that downshift. There's that downshift. Turning. Full throttle action is not uh, giving me power. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So, in track mode, the stability control realized that at this speed and at that steering angle, there's no way you're going to get that power to the ground. So instead, we're going to slowly feed in just a little bit. And as I started to unwind the wheel, then the car started to accelerate. That seems like a helpful feature. Maybe not for advanced track day drivers, but for the person taking their Z06 out to the track for the first time, that could be pretty useful. You know, the whole uh, not spinning off the track and breaking your 80-something thousand dollar Corvette. If you're feeling uh, really good about yourself and your driving abilities, uh, one thing you could do is completely deactivate the stability control, which I will now do, thus tempting the face. I was judicious with my application of power. That was a smart move. A little bit of sideways action there, but I caught it. <laughs> All right. You remember what I just said moments ago about the whole stability control thing? Keep that in mind. And now I'm going to point the correct direction on the racetrack. So, what have we learned here? I think we could say that the Z06 is a thrilling track car. It's uh, quick, it's very quick. It sounds good while you're lapping it. It looks good while you're doing it too. The big question is, is it fun? Uh, yeah, I'd say it's fun, provided your version of fun involves uh, major consequences for boneheaded driving mistakes. I'll also add that if you want to drive with the stability control on, you'll get no guff from me. Yeah, no, people say guff. Despite all the awesomeness, there were a few complicating factors during our time with the Z06. One, we burned down the left rear tire, somehow, slightly reducing our time on track. Two, there was something amiss with the rear suspension, causing odd lateral wriggling when traversing undulating pavement. Willow Springs super quick turn eight, for example. Maybe the magnetic damper was wonky, or maybe the previous journalist knocked something around. You know how journalists drive. Either way, the uneasy handling sapped our on-track confidence. And three, the engine actually overheated on us. Again, this is a press car that's lived a hard life, but getting an overheating warning on an 80 degree day during not particularly grueling lapping was somewhat disconcerting. Vexing issues aside, the Z06 is undeniably capable. Based on performance alone, the Chevrolet Corvette Z06 is an impressive feat. But if you look beyond that, if you consider its incredible value and the fact that it's totally livable in day-to-day -day driving, the Z06 becomes less of a supercar for the privileged elite and more of a victory for the common man and woman. <laughs>